Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lurcy and this tutorial is going to talk a little bit about Adobe Bridge uh, in CS5. Now the thing about Adobe Bridge is a lot of people that use Photoshop don't use Bridge, don't even know what it is, and um, there's other options for sorting your images, things like Lightroom and things like that which are all great, but um, if you're looking for somewhere to start, Adobe Bridge is nice for a couple of reasons. The, the biggest one being that it it's included in Photoshop so you probably already have it and it does a lot of the basic things that you need and so what I want to do is kind of explain a little bit about um, specifically one of the features and that's using keywords to label your images so that it makes it easier to find things later. So let me uh, go over here first and we're in Bridge. This is just the the Essentials view up here. And if you look over here under Filter, you'll see Keywords. And right now you can see there's no keywords because we haven't done any tagging to any of these images yet. There's 20 images, but nothing has been tagged. Now, the center section here, of course, is the thumbnails. Over here is the Preview pane. But over here on the right, if you click on the Keywords tab, it's going to give you um, these little topics over here, little categories. And if you look down here, there's a couple of little plus signs. This one is for adding a new keyword category. This one is for a subcategory. Let me show you what that means. For example, you can have people. And if we drop that down, we've got two different ones set up here, friends or family. Now, um, you could have all kinds of different people on here. You could click on people and pick a new subcategory here and maybe you could have oh I don't know coworkers whatever you want to do you could you could put those under people places it gives you a few default ones here but we're gonna add our own to that and the reason that is is it's so you can find specific images later so maybe later you want to look for a shot that you took while you were on vacation in Hawaii, for example. Uh, by labeling it with a keyword, you're going to be able to go to those really quickly and easily. So let's label a few and let me show you what I'm talking about. If we look at these images here, I'm going to start with these bottom eight images. And we are going to add some keywords to these. These were all taken. Um, a few months ago in Hawaii. So I'm going to go over here to places and I can see I do not have Hawaii set up as one of these. So I'm going to come down here, click new sub, type Hawaii. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the first one, hold down shift and click the last one. So now I've selected all of those and I'm going to click on Hawaii. There we go. Now anytime I click on one of these you can see the little Hawaii is checked. Now let's look at these up here. I know that all of these were taken in Indiana so I'm going to create a new place, a new sub, Indiana. I'm going to click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one. So I've highlighted all those. I'm going to click on Indiana and there we go. Now anytime I click on one of these you can see Indiana is checked. If I come down here switches to Hawaii. Now one thing you might need later is as you start working uh, with your photography or maybe you're going to start doing some stock uh, photography and things like that is a lot of times you're going to want to be able to look for a certain type of image. For example we've got all these animal images here which is something conceivably I might want. So I'm going to add a new category. That really doesn't fall into events, people, or places. I'm going to create a new category here. I won't put it under places, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and put animals. And just grab it and drag it out from under there. Now it's made it its own category. Now if I wanted to, if I wanted to get really organized, I could make a subcategory animals and I could have rhinos and another one for giraffes and every other animal on there, but 
for now we'll just have the animals. We'll keep the rhinos one just for fun since I already made it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the animals like that. I'm going to click animals. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that, hold down shift there, highlight just the ones of the rhinos, click that. So now if I click on rhino I can see it is tagged for animals, rhinos, and Indiana. So it's got three different tags. So if I'm looking for images of rhinos, images of Indiana, or images of animals, that shot right there is going to come up. Um, let's look at something else, maybe here like this flag. That's something that you might at some point want, a shot of a flag. Uh, it doesn't really fall into one of these categories, so we'll make a new one. And for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to call that stock images. And then we'll make a subcategory called flags. As I'm looking here, I see I've got clouds too, which is another category you might need to add clouds to an image or something like that. So I'm going to add under stock images, add another sub. Not so good. Let me go back and kind of show you again what I did. I've set up these categories and then set up subcategories within them. It just depends on how finally you want to sort your images. So uh, I've got the flag one here highlighted. I'm going to click on flags. I can highlight the cloud shot. Click on clouds. And there you go. Now you can see these are starting to fill up. Now doing these keywords it's one of those things that's going to be a lot of work up front and the work's going to kind of drop off as you go. Setting up all these categories is going to be kind of the bulk of the work, but it's going to really save you time down the road as, as you start looking for things. So let's see what else we can tag these existing image, images we have. For example, here's a shot of me attaching the camera to the back of the car. Here's one up here. I'm going to hold down Command. I like that. And here's one of me with uh, the guy from Survivor. And there's a picture of my wife. So. I'm going to highlight all of those, click on Our Family. Now those are tagged. So you can go on and on with the tagging, but that's a pretty good job with this. And it's easier generally if you do it in batches. You know, if you just get back from a trip to California, you highlight all the images, make a category for California, and click on it. And then maybe you pick out the pictures of your family and drag it. And the way it's really handy is when you're sitting there at some point and you go, God, I want to see some of the pictures I took in Hawaii you can go right to it without having to try and remember what folder you put it in and things like that. So let me show you basically how you go searching for things later. So once we get all these tagged, let me just kind of clear us out of here and just kind of come back here to my computer up here so I don't have anything pulled up. I'll, if I'm in Bridge, all I have to do is go here under this keyword tab and I decide on a category that I want to look for. So let's say I want to know all the pictures that I took while I was in Indiana. I'm going to hit down, hold down control, click on Indiana, and it's going to bring up this little box here. I'm going to hit find. And you can see right here, it already fills it in for me. The key, anything that has, contains the keyword Indiana. And I can have it look on my desktop and my images, wherever I want it to be. I'll have it look on the desktop just because I know that's where this is. But I can pick wherever I want it to search for anything with that Indiana uh, keyword. And hit find. And we'll give it a, work, a second to work. And there you go. It's going to pull them all up right here. Anything that's tagged with Indiana will come up. And, and there I have all my Indiana pictures. If I want to narrow it down and say, I, you know, maybe I want, uh, just want pictures of rhinos, I can click on rhino. Control click on that. Keywords that contain rhinos. Now I got three of them there. So that's basically how it works. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it's just a little bit of extra work up front. If you come back over here um, in this box, you'll notice this is what we were talking about before, where I've got three images here. Three of them are tagged for Indiana, three are tagged for rhino. So that kind of shows you how much tagging you've done. 
but it's really handy for finding things and I think it's one of those things that if you can get yourself in the habit of looking uh, for images or rather thinking of looking of, for them in the future and going ahead and labeling so that it's easier when you go to look for them you'll find that it really makes things simpler and it's a nice thing to have and it really keeps your collection of images organized especially if you've got a ton of images on your computer so I hope that helps. Give that a try. Play around with it a little bit. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, be sure to check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.